Hello guys, Damadog A2 here, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make probably one of the most important units that you'll ever use in the campaign, and that is a spy satellite. So, let's get started. I already got started with our woodblock here. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to grab an AI. We probably don't need to worry about cards or anything like that just yet. And next I'd like to grab two PIDs. Actually, not AI PIDs, I need the uh, general purpose PIDs. There we go. Now then, let's go under blocks. I want to get some of these trusses. And put them like so and then let's go to resources we're going to grab some RTGs like so and we're going to need a bit of batteries uh, electric engine let's just go ahead and pop that right there just so you can see it it's in between the uh, RTGs here uh, you'll usually want to have your satellites run on RTG power. Uh, reason being is these things are meant to go out into space and having to drag them back down all the time to refuel them is going to be a real pain in the ass. So I highly recommend that you not use the uh, RTGs to power these. Okay, so next we're going to go into air. We're going to grab a circular ion thruster. It doesn't matter if you use this one or this one. They're both going to do the exact same thing for you. So let's go ahead and slap that dude on there. And I want to take another one and put it on the back like this. So in that way I'll be able to move forward. Uh, next we are going to grab an ion thruster. And we're going to put them on every corner. Or every uh, one of these uh, trusses at the ends. There we go. All right, so now this part, actually, I think we might need some more. Yeah. All right, so now um, let's go down here to this bottom one. We're gonna go to propulsion advanced controller options. We're gonna set that dude to T. And then next I'm going to go into control and I'm going to grab an ACB, place it like so, place another one over there, and we're going to go black, uh, I'm sorry, back in our blocks, we're going to grab a one meter truss block, there we go, now we want to go into this ACB here, we're going to go with... altitude and we want to set this for I think 4,000 meters uh, no let's just do 3,500 then there we go we don't want to go this or we want we don't want this thing going up infinitely if you max that out it will just go up infinitely we don't want that uh, so th I think 3500 meters will be just fine so next we want to go to target in action we want to select complex controls and select activate and there we go now this thing should be generating some thrust so Next, we're going to make sure we have our thrusters set. That's pitch, that's pitch, excellent. I'll go in here, set this to roller preset, and this one to roller preset. And roller preset here, and roller preset here. Okay, so this thing is just 
The way I have the ACB set up, it's going to fire this thruster down here at the bottom and make this thing just go straight up till it hits 3500 meters. So let's go ahead and let it go. Okay, something wasn't set up right. Obviously. Probably because we don't have the yeah, we don't have the eight, the uh, PID set yet. So I think for this, we're just going to go with the uh, default settings, see how it works. And if it needs adjusting, we'll adjust it some. So let's go propulsion roll on this. Roll. All right, let's try this shit again. There we go. We're heading up relatively straight. As long as we're heading up, that's pretty much all you need to worry about. Now, it... It is buffeting a bit, but uh, we just need it to go straight up, which it's doing that part just fine. So let's go into here and then we're going to slap an antenna on this thing. And some dish pieces. You don't really need to put a whole hell of a lot of dish pieces if you go at a very, very high altitude like I set this thing up to do. There. Now, should have a completely functioning satellite now. Uh, so let's go ahead and let this get up to about 3,500 meters like we set it up to do. And when it hits 3500, the ACV for that was shut off. And here we are, back all the way up into space. Now whenever the satellite uh, lowers its altitude less than 3500, it's going to kick this thruster back on and push it back up. So let's have a quick look at the price tag here. Less than 6,000 materials for this thing. Um, in theory, you can make it even cheaper by you know, taking these uh, trusses and replace them with wood beams. But I thought this one would look more the part, so that's why I did it this way. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll save it as Damodoc Satellite. And then we're going to go here and do pull all. Now the reason why we had to stick the AI in it is so it would be able to move on the um, strategic map. 18 meters a second, that's kind of decent for a satellite. Considering 90% of the time it's just going to sit there and basically show you what everyone's doing. So, just for uh, testing's sake, we're going to go into a campaign. Doesn't matter which one, just want to show you guys how it works. Yeah, we'll just start a quest for Neater. Okay, so... We should have enough materials to be able to spawn this thing in. So let's go load vehicle, Damodoc satellite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have this thing hold on to it. Have it just hold it in place while the rest of it's spawned in. There we go, and we are ready to rock. So let's go ahead and turn off that. 
can go into the map. We'll just let it do its little thing here. As you can see, the higher it goes, the more the map it's going to reveal for us. And it is hauling ass getting up to altitude like we needed it to also. So let's see what happens when it gets all the way where it needs to be. I think I'll just go ahead and pull it out of play. And we'll just let it get there on its own. I'll speed it up just a little bit for you guys. And bam, there we go. And look how much of the map that revealed. And this was from a satellite that I spent less than 6k on. You could just span a buttload of these. So anyway, uh, I hope that covers everything. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been a Damnoggy 2 with a satellite tutorial. Uh, Y'all have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later.